to read from Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 11. Verse 1 and 2. I'm reading from the ISV. International Study Version. A shoot will come out from the stump of Jesse. And a branch will bear fruit from his roots. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and power. In other versions it says and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Agambi. A shoot shall come out. From a stamp of Jesse. Now for us, if you're a Bible student, you know that scripture is referring to Jesus. He said he will come in that line. Because David was a descendant of Jesse. He said it will come it will rise. Hallelujah. Amen. And say it will bear fruit from this root. Glory to God. And verse 2 is where my emphasis is. It says the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of the living God will rest upon him. Glory to God. Amen. Which means there is a time that he was here and the spirit of the living God was not resting upon him. He moved along just like everybody else. Hallelujah. Amen. He did get he got involved like everybody else. But there came a time when the spirit of the living God rested upon him. Hallelujah. And we know it happened at the time when he was baptized on the river Jordan. All the other time, he moved, related, did whatever he needed to do. Although he was a son of God, but the spirit had not rested upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And the spirit will rest upon him. Acts chapter 2. The Bible says there was this mighty move and the spirit rested hallelujah Amen. it came upon them earlier on Jesus said I breathe that he breathed upon them in spirit before he left so inside them the spirit of God was in them but as they were waiting on that upper chamber the spirit came and rested upon them and that made the whole difference hallelujah the people were fearful inside the house when the spirit rested upon them they came out like mighty men of war. They came out and challenged the status quo. They came out and caused people who said they had they, they were the custodian of the spiritual things. They caused them to begin to wonder that another group has arisen. A force is here. And they try to challenge them. But the spirit of the Lord had rested upon them. And whatever they did could not be controlled by humanity. One of the intelligent men called Gamaliel told his team you see these people here so and so rose at one time. And when he was dead, that was the end of the group. Another one called Judas Rose. When he died, that was the end of the group. But let me tell you, there is something about these people. They are not just having an ideology. The Spirit of God has rested upon them. So when you try to fight them, you are going to fight God. Hallelujah. So be careful with these people. That was an intelligent 
intelligent man. He looked at his people. He saw how Jesus had died. And he was no longer there. But the movement gathered momentum. Hallelujah. It was Jesus alone at one time. The others were followers. But now you have 11 men. This was a here. The other one's there. The other one's there. And all of them breathing fire. You say, this, this is not normal. Hallelujah. This is not normal. We know. Ideology alone can be killed. When the person who has it can be. It can be destroyed. But this is something else. And the spirit of the living God. Says what rests upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. And that spirit. Is the spirit of the living God. Then it says the spirit of wisdom. And understanding. It's the spirit of counsel. And might. Hallelujah. The Various ways the Spirit of God manifests itself. Himself. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to handle one or two of those in this service. Glory to God. When the Holy Ghost came upon the disciples, even the people who say they knew the law were greatly challenged. Hallelujah. Amen. Which means they became extraordinary. They were no longer just ordinary men walking with ideology. No. There was a power behind them. So the spirit shall rest upon him. And I want to talk about the spirit of might. And this word might is different from the other one we studied in Zechariah chapter 4. Hallelujah. Amen. This one is different. Glory to God. So the spirit of might. We are going to study it. Because I heard the Holy Ghost speak to me. And say the spirit of might. The spirit of might. The spirit of might. And I knew where it was. So let me consult the scriptures. Hallelujah. The spirit of might. Glory to God. He said, that's how he'll be armed. Oh, hallelujah. So this is what is going to make him different. The spirit of might. And that word might has many meanings. I will handle a few. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The same spirit that rests on Jesus is inside you and has rested on you as well. Hallelujah. That's the same spirit. Colossians 2 and verse 9 says, For in him, the, in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, We have received Christ on whom all the fullness of God. So which means we have received the same spirit, the spirit of might that expresses himself in this aspect of being might, mighty. Hallelujah. So we have received the same that distinguished Jesus. So the spirit of might is very much alive. Very much alive. Very much alive in your life. Very much alive in my life. The spirit of might is very much alive in your life. Don't look at yourself and reduce yourself to an ordinary human being. The spirit of might is very much alive in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Knowing what to do is the spirit of wisdom. Ability to do it is the operation of the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Knowing what to do is the operation of the spirit of wisdom. But the ability to execute the ability to operate to ability to make what you know come to pass is by the operation of the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Knowing what to do is not enough. We know what to do many times. Hallelujah. God has given you 
and whispered into your ears. And you know what you should do. You know what you ought to do. But knowing what to do is not enough. No wonder the scriptures have to be put in a way so that we know that there are components that we must walk in. Hallelujah. Many people say, I know. God told me this. God said this. God said this. And that is true. And you look at your, their life and there is nothing showing. And yet God has been speaking. A prophetic word comes to you. You know what to do. But when it comes to seeing the results, we don't see the results. The operation, the operation, the operation, the bringing forth, the ability to perform, the ability to act is based on the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So, the spirit of might. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Operated in all these dimensions, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. In Luke chapter 4 and verse 36, the Bible says the, He stood out. By the time Jesus came, he was not the only one talking. He wasn't the only one who was teaching. There were people who had gone through the school, they had graduated, and they were now in the synagogue. They were teaching the people. But the Bible says, when Jesus came, he was different. Why? The spirit of might, he made him come through. He made him come out of the ordinary. He distinguished himself. Because not only did he know what to do, no, but he also knew how to cause what he knew to come to pass. Hallelujah. One time Jesus told his disciples, you see these Pharisees, they are saying the right things, but they don't do what they say. They lack the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And that spirit of might, I told you, has a number of meanings. One of them is mastery. Mastery. Hallelujah. Mastery. 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 God is very much particular that for you to come out, for you to be above the ordinary, there is something about mastery. Mastery. Jesus, when he was teaching, the Bible says in Luke 4 36, and they were all amazed and speak among themselves saying what word is this? Hallelujah. Amen. What word is this? What word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the spirits and clean spirits and they come out. They listen to Jesus and when he spoke there was something about the way he spoke. Hallelujah! There was something about what he said and how he said it and how effective it was. One time a man called Stephen the Bible said full of the Holy Ghost they said they began to contend with other people. They were quoting the same scriptures. And the Bible says the people who are against him, they could not manage the wisdom. There was something about how he spoke the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They couldn't manage. Because there was something on top. It was not, it was not just mere words. It was not just knowing what to say. There was a power behind those words. And that power is the power of might. It brings you out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be his holy name. When you are speaking, it touches the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, 
you can say the same things. And the effect is very different. Many years ago, there was a song sung, sung by a South African singer, a saturated singer. He said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. She just went to Psalms 23. Got the words and composed the song. It was throughout the whole world. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So they would sing it in the beer pots. They sing it in bars. Because she was a secular singer. And people were dancing, the Lord is my shepherd. Then one day, an old man said, I want to sing the very song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he began to sing the song. Instead of people dancing, they were crying. Hallelujah. What happened? There was the spirit in that world. There was the spirit as the man sang. That man had the spirit of might. It was not just speaking. It was not just singing. Something in the song as the man sang. The reality of the song came alive. Hallelujah. Hey! The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Instead of people laughing around and just dancing, people were on their knees and crying. Why? If you brought that lady who sang the song and put this man on this other side, do you know who will stand out? Hallelujah. The one with the spirit of might will stand out. It affects both believers and unbelievers. Hallelujah. Spirit of might. What word is this? We have heard this word before. They have quoted these scriptures before. But when this man opened his mouth, something is happening already. Hallelujah. Something is happening already. The spirit of might will get you out of the ordinary and put you where you should be. And I want us to know that is the desire of God. Don't be there and say, I am just like everybody else. Even among believers. Hallelujah. Amen. To the level you expose yourself. To the spirit of might. That's the level you shall arise. And you'll be with other believers. But you'll be different. Why? You know what is expected of you. I listen to a young man. That young man is from West Africa. But right now I think he's staying either Canada or some one of the countries. He said, I must be a master. And he, he decided to master the keyboard. Do you know there are many talented keyboard players? If he's knowing how to handle the different keys, everything. Else. But this young man has invaded the social media right now. Because there is something about him. When he touches those keys, the spirit of mind says you must be known. They must know. They must hear. They must sense. They must feel. Something must come out of the keyboard and touch somebody. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the young man plays the keyboard. And wherever you are, you say, what kind of playing is that? There comes a time when the Holy Ghost begins to press the buttons himself. Hallelujah. You think he doesn't know a keyboard? He knows. He says, sometimes I don't, I just hear now the... the even me, I'm hearing that somebody else is playing together with me. Hallelujah. That is what we need. Hallelujah. When you are singing, that's why I tell the choir that it is not just singing. You can sing the same songs. There are people who know how to train their voices and they are smart. But there is something beyond a voice. There is something beyond knowing what to say. There is a spirit that God wants you to operate in. Release yourself to the spirit and allow the Holy Ghost to work in your life. It will distinguish you. Hallelujah. It will bring you on top. 
So the spirit of might shall rest upon him. Spirit of mastery. Hallelujah. Amen. Spirit of mastery. Don't live your life. Whether you are in a place of work, that spirit must be alive and well. Hallelujah. You come to where I work. People come, they testify. They say, of all this place, this place is unique. Why? The spirit of might is at work. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They favor you. Why shouldn't they? Hallelujah. I'm opening a we are all, most of us are saved in that place. All the heads of the department in that place are saved. But there is something. Hallelujah. You can't distinguish yourself. You will be, you will come out of the ordinary. You will be very different. In that place, when they are looking for a nurse, they will say there is Diana Nurse. Hallelujah. There is Diana Nurse. Something beyond just the nursing field. Glory to God. There is a man who does architecture. He didn't read many books. He didn't he have a chance. He didn't have the opportunity to read many books. That man is winning contracts. International contracts. With his few papers. But he knows the, the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. He has decided to open himself to the spirit of might. And he has the ability. I know so to do things that most of the people who are better trained than him can do here in Uganda. Hallelujah. Amen. The one who discovered electricity, Michael Faraday. Do you know he was just an, a lab attendant? He was working together with a professor. But he was the one who discovered this. And he was a believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Why are you submerged in that place? Why are you hidden in that place? Why are you submerged in where you stay? Why? You should come out. Something must be tangible. That this man is carrying something beyond just the ordinary thing that people carry. This lady is carrying something beyond just an ordinary living human being. Why are you hidden? When Christ came, he came on top. He was born in a remote village. He was born in a place, stayed in a place. He said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? But surely a good thing came out. Hallelujah. Can anything come from my village? Yes, I am the one who come out. Can anybody come from that region? Yes, I have come out. The spirit of God has rested upon me. The spirit of might. The spirit of mastery. Hallelujah. I may not have read many books, but I can master. I may not know many things, but I have the spirit of God. It causes me to rise up. Hey! Hallelujah. Don't carry yourself and beat yourself down when you have the Holy Ghost. No! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The spirit of mastery. When God was building the tabernacle in the wilderness, he said, I have anointed. Bezalel and Aholiab. Hallelujah. Amen. You should have anointed them. You think they were the only ones who knew how to carve things? But they showed in their hearts that they were the kind of persons that the anointing rest upon. If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you are willing to arise, if you are willing to come out of the ordinary, you say you will eat the good of the land. God will put his mark on you. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Glory to God. Mastery. So he mastered. Genesis chapter 39. Verse 1 following. Then you continue Genesis 39. From 22 onwards. The story took about Joseph. You know Joseph was not the only slave. The other slaves were from there. Maybe others were also from other places. And Joseph just, was just among them. One of them. But the Bible says, and the Lord was with Joseph. Glory to God. And when we read that statement, it looked like Joseph had no part completely. Like, like God was playing, you know, this. Uh, Either cards or something. One, two, three, close his eyes, then she poop Joseph. Hallelujah. Isn't it so? Why wouldn't he do well? After all, God just did like this and she poop Joseph. No! When you read the story of Joseph, when God was talking about the genealogy of Jacob, he never started with the firstborn. He said, now this is the genealogy of Jacob. Then the first name which is mentioned is Joseph. Joseph was the second lastborn. Where was Reuben? Where was Judah? Where was Issachar? Hallelujah. Where are all the Simeons? But there was something about this man. The Bible says when he was there with his family, he was always about doing the right thing. He said, we report and say, you know, we went in the bush there. They have told you that one, one goat was eaten by some animal. The truth is, it was killed and we ate it. Hallelujah. He started early to distinguish himself. And God said that this is the man. So I will follow him wherever he goes. Then he begins to give him dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is what I see. This is my mind for you. Even when he was in, uh, in that place, a slave, and yet there was something about this man. When they would go to the field, everybody is working. Joseph is also working. When other people retire, Joseph may be working. When people don't care how the thing comes out, he's about this thing must be proper. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said, this is the man. You cannot live a sloppy life and express the spirit of might. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot live a sloppy life and express the spirit of might. Mastery. You cannot come out of the crowd. For you, everything is just done just like that. After all, I've done it. No! There is something that you must put your heart there. And the spirit of mastery. You think Jesus did not study the scriptures? You think he didn't pray? Hallelujah! Amen. Being a son of God and the Holy Ghost has come upon him. He was there because the spirit of mastery demands that you put an effort and come out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God desires every one of us to operate under this power. Glory to God. Paul said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. Then he said, but I worked harder than all of them. And you know, Paul came out. He was not in the original 12 apostles. 
But when he came to the scene, it looked like he took over. He had a different mentality. Hallelujah. A different mentality. And I want us in this place have a different mentality. You may be in a community and there are other people who are saved there. But for you, you have the spirit of mastery in mind. Hallelujah. The life you live, the way you live, how you speak, must this Distinguish yourself. Not just like everybody else. When I was in school, one non saved person, one of those people who are not saved, but watched all of us and said, if there was anybody saved in this place, then that man was saved. Hallelujah. We are many. But if a man who is outside who is watching can say if there was anybody saved here that man was saved hallelujah what happened I put my heart in it I must live this life so I mustard how to live in that environment so I can come out clean I could come out on top don't say what can we do don't you know the environment no! You are above the environment. You are above the conditions. The spirit of God is upon you. And you can live above. Where others fail, for you you will go through. Where others fail, for you you shall go up. Where others fail, for you go forward. Hallelujah. You distinguish yourself. The spirit of mastery. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel 5.12 the Bible says for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge hallelujah Amen. Daniel also lived but you see we must learn to master things when you are studying the scriptures study started to show yourself approved unto God. When you open your mouth, people will know there is something more on this man. There is something more on this lady. When you talk to people, they come to you with their problems. When you open your mouth, you are not like any other counselor. There is something about you that makes them choose. If they have to choose, they say we shall go for so and so. Because the spirit of mastery is in your life. If you are cleaning a place, you must clean the place so that you come out. It operates in every field. If you are a housewife, don't like, be like any other housewife. Master the art of being a wife. Hallelujah! Amen. Because the spirit of mastery is on you. Master the art of being a good wife. Master the art of being a good husband. Master the art of being a good child. Master! Hallelujah! When people are complaining, for you will be smiling inside. They think you have a charm. You have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How are you managing your man? I have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Glory to God. A spirit of mastery. How are you handling your wife? I have the spirit of God inside me. When I want to open my mouth to say something, it tells me don't open your mouth. Keep quiet. Hallelujah! You master the art of living in a community. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Jesus, Peter said, Let them have issues with you about your life in Christ. When they look for you, issues outside there, they should not find anything. But if they have, have to find a problem, they will find a problem that you are praying that you are living a life which is honest. <laughs> Hallelujah. They say, but that man, uh, the problem is honest. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a good problem. Hallelujah. 
No saying, but that one is also a liar. No! Say, if they have to look for issues in your life, in a community, let them find it in line with how you live your Christian life. Let them be stumbled by their Christian life. Not what they are also involved in. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Spirit of mastery. Spirit of mastery. He said the spirit of might shall rest upon you. Mastery. Mastery. Master to think. Hallelujah. Amen. Philippians 4, 8. Is, I'm going to, I'm paraphrasing, say this is how you think. We are not just allowed to think what we want to think. Did you know that? Hallelujah. There is a way God wants us to think. So when you think the way God has prescribed, you will come at us a master in thinking. Hallelujah. Amen. People will be wondering, what kind of man is this? Because your thought life is beating their thought life. And the results are there to show that this man thinks differently. He's not like any of us. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of mastery. Now, the second thing we want to look at in that very word might, it also means bravery. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of might, that the spirit of might shall rest upon him. Mastery. But it also means bravery. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know how many believers who are not brave? But the Bible says, the spirit, that spirit of the living God shall rest upon him and the spirit of counsel and might. And that word might also means bravery. You need to be brave in this world. You need to be bold in this world. You need to be courageous in this world. Joshua 1 and verse 6 following. God was telling Joshua. Having told him. That Joshua. Joshua. The land I have given you. He said, wherever you put your foot on, it's yours. Then verse 6 says, be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Be strong and of good courage. Because you are going to face I've given you the land. Do you know that God gives you the land which is already occupied? God gives you a business idea where there are already people who have been doing it. God takes you to a land which is not a vacuum. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether it is witnessing there are already spirits there. People have all ways of thinking there. So wherever you go, there are already people there. There are already situations there. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says, I have given you the land. The land is there. He says, but be only be you strong and You have to be brave. Verse 7 says, Only be you strong and very courageous. Bravery will help you make the necessary steps to achieve your goals. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Bravery will help you make the necessary steps to achieve your goal. The enemy will stand and scare you off. The situation will stand and scare you off. Hallelujah. Amen. You look at things and if you are not brave, you will back I wanted to do this but I was thinking of doing this but remember knowing what to do is wisdom but the ability to do it is the operation of the spirit of might hallelujah glory to God you can have an idea for years and it doesn't come to fruition you have not engaged the spirit of might the aspect of being brave and say if I die I die I am moving hallelujah amen I am moving. I don't see the way. But I am going to move. When God was taking the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land, the Red Sea was there. It didn't move an inch. It was still there. And people began to cry. You say we should go. But where are we going? The river is here. The water is much. We will drown. And all those reasonings and the, the river was looking. Moses went to God and said, God, you see, you told me to bring these people out. Now you look at what's happening. The Egyptians are coming and this Red Sea is here. Where are we going to pass? And God said, get up. Hallelujah. Why are you crying before me? Tell the people to move forward. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. He did what say, tell the people to move forward. Be brave enough and press the waters. Move in there. And they began to move. They put their feet in the water. And they continued moving. Hallelujah. Amen. When you, when you look at the film, it shows Moses lifting up his rod. And then the waters passing, parting. And the people walking through. But that's not what happened. What happened is People began to move until they were in the waters. History says water was on the leaders up to the neck. And then the water parted. You are waiting for the water to part. You are waiting for conditions to be okay. You are waiting for things to settle down. Let me tell you, they will not settle down. When God has put a vision in your heart, when God has put an idea in your life, you begin to move there. Hallelujah. Glory. Don't wait. When is the time you begin to move? And many of us, we have not engaged what God has given us. We will be better than the non-believers. Because we have the power of God backing us up. Glory to God. You would be far. You would have done things. You would have gone places. Paul said it is my, my line of thinking. To go to grounds which nobody has gone. Hallelujah. Amen. He operated under the spirit Big time. He would go to places nobody had gone. He would go to hostile places. So long as God says go, he goes. Hallelujah. One time they stoned him to death. Another time they did this. But he was still moving, he was still brave. How many of us have been, you go to talk to somebody to get saved, and then you're abused, and then you say, you know, these people don't want to get saved. And then you sit back, hallelujah. You are not brave, hallelujah. Leave that place, go to another place. Faith! Move forward. Don't move backwards. Don't cower. No! Faith! Only be you strong and be of good courage. Life will intimidate you. 
Situations will intimidate you. But you need to have this. And say, come what may. Come what may. And you discover that what looked like a big mountain is no longer a mountain. You discover that there was something powerful that happened and caused things to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Acts chapter 4 and verse 13. The Bible says. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and of John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, but they marveled. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Do you know you can go to a place and get intimidated? You go. And then you see these people who know and now you are in court being challenged by them. But the Bible says Peter and John appeared before this council of intelligent men, people with experience, people with class, people with authority. When they looked at them coming, they said, these are ignorant men. Hallelujah. So we shall just quickly put them off. We shall just ask one question and they will not answer. Hallelujah. But when they began to speak, and then the response from these people, they spoke like they didn't see their credentials. They spoke like they didn't see that they were anything. The spirit of might was operating in their lives. And they, they, they looked at this person and said, what? Wait a minute. And these Galileans, and these, these people, fishermen, the people have not gone to school. But look at the way they are articulating things. Look at the way how they are bold. They seem to know what they are talking about. Hallelujah. They say, let's, let's them first go out. Let's discuss them. So they told them, first go out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They, they seemingly push over us. We are not push over us. Hallelujah. Let people look at you and think they dismiss you. But when they get in touch with you, when they get in contact with you, they see that this is a pushover. They see that there is something about this man. We cannot just write him off. Hallelujah. They should write you off. When you appear in an interview, they already made up their minds. But when you begin to speak, then they say there is something about this man. We thought it was nothing. Hallelujah. Glory. The spirit of might must operate in your life. Glory. Hallelujah. All the interviews I've done have passed them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In some of those places I was not taken. Not because I was not the best. I passed them. Naitanga interview. Do you know? Woman. I go there speaking in tongues. I go there with my mentality that everything I must be able to. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I don't go there trembling. No. One time we did an interview. In the interview. And I met this man. My friend, some of them were my lecturers. We were competing for the same job. <laughs> you show up there and you see your lecturer. And it was not only one. I said, wow. I said this is interesting. Hallelujah. 
But when we sat in that place, oh, glory to God. Do you know I beat all of them? Hallelujah. Why? Something in me. You can disqualify me because you see I'm small. But I am not small. Hallelujah. There is a power of God resting in my life. There is a power of God resting in your life. You will come on top. Hallelujah. You are coming on top. You are coming on top. You are not biting your head down. You are coming on top. You are moving up. The spirit of mastery is in you. The spirit of bravery is in you. Glory to God. Amen. God can give you wisdom. The Bible says, I will give you a mouth. Hallelujah. He says, I will give you a mouth. You already have one, but I'm going to give you mine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I will give you a mouth and then and a wisdom that they will not be able to gain say hallelujah. They try here, they try here, they try and they say no. This man is beyond us. Hallelujah. You are rising. Hallelujah. The spirit of might is working in your life. You are rising to the top. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to rise to our feet. Oh, shake it a little bit higher. Blessed be his holy name. When I went for my introduction, I told you that there was no spokesman. He promised and he never showed up. And all other people never showed up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the, according to the culture, you sit out. So there are a few people I went with, about three of them. They were taken inside. And I was left outside. Then they saw that I was being bored. Then they came and said, you can also go inside. We are going to break culture. Hallelujah. <laughs> you also go inside. So they took me inside. So I was not supposed to say anything, even if you have gone inside. So I heard them talk, 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 and they, we are not moving any far. Then I asked, can you allow me to speak? They said, ah, it's okay after all, you are very few. You will speak. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They made a mistake. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When they said you can speak, yeah. then I opened my mouth. Yeah. Do you know I talked in tongues in the morning? Yeah. And God had told me you are going to go and you are going to be victorious. Yeah. So when they said you can speak, I said, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And I began to speak. Yeah. God gave me a mouth yeah. and a wisdom yeah. that they could not gain say. Yeah. Do you know? After talking, normally, in those meetings, if there is a contention, the visiting team is the one that goes out. But this time, the, the, the visitors were four of us. They told us, you stay inside. They went outside. The whole big team went outside. Hallelujah. I will give you what a mouth and a wisdom I, I spoke Nayoke. and articulated things Nayoke. until the chairman on the other side said so the young man is right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let, him, let us give him his wife. And she's here. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Let them make a mistake and say, You speak. And the spirit of mind shall arise. Oh, hallelujah. I will give you a mouth. And I will give you a wisdom. That no man is able to gain say. They cannot resist. They cannot stop. They will say something about this word. Something about this talking. Hallelujah. And that's who you are. And that's who you are. The spirit of mind resting upon you. The distinguishing factor. The one that shall cause you to be above the ordinary. You are not just ordinary. Hallelujah. No. The spirit of might is working in your life. Release yourself. Oh, release yourself. Release yourself. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are selling in the market, release yourself. The spirit of might. The spirit of bravery. The spirit of power. Hallelujah. That same word talks about power. The supernatural power of God is available as you working. The spirit of might of signs and wonders is the spirit of might. It works wonders. When you are seated there, you are not the same. Don't join people. Don't say the economy is bad. The spirit of might is at work. There is a wisdom that's beyond what this nation can offer. Hallelujah. Don't join the people. The economy is bad. The fuel crisis. No. Refuse. Say I serve a God. And the spirit of might is operating in my life. My life is never the same. My life goes forward. My life is moving forward. Miracles, signs and wonders. The spirit of might is working in my life. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 We are moving out as a mighty warrior. Hallelujah. That same word might also means valor. Remember Gideon? The angel came and said, you mighty man of valor. He said, there is might. Hallelujah. It's available for you. You may be few, but there is valor. We are going forward. We are going far. We are going forward. We are going far. The spirit of might is working through you and working in you. Changing situations. Changing circumstances. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you meet the mountain, say thank you, Jesus. The spirit of might that work. When you meet the condition, when you meet the situation, you say thank you, Lord. The spirit of might that work. This thing I shall see no more. This mountain I will not see again. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Oh, we believe this message has blessed you. For more information, please visit our website, Destiny Life Family Church, where you will be able to have access to more of our materials, audios, videos, and information on our church programs. Don't forget to like and subscribe to His Voice YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest videos. Click the notification bell to receive notifications whenever our videos are uploaded. Thank you.